Hi folks, end of February now, so it's time to plant my garlic out. I'm going to use my older bulbs as usual, just plant all the biggest, get cloves from the biggest bulbs that I got last year, so they're quite a nice, decent size from last year. So what I'm going to do is simply just take the biggest cloves from around the outside and plant those. Whether it's an old wives tale or not, I don't know, but that's what I was told. So you plant the big ones from around the, around the edge of the bulb, the biggest ones, and then you get bigger bulbs. Whether it's true or not, I don't know, but that's what I do, and I tend to get a good crop. So I'm planting mine now. Oh, a lot of people plant in autumn time, but I can't, and especially this year with the soil being so wet. Because a garlic bulb needs a certain time of cold in the soil to make it split, you see, into a into a bulb otherwise if you plant it really late on it doesn't, it doesn't get any cold you just end up with a big giant single clove rather than it splitting into into cloves to make a bulb and i think that's called vernalization and by all accounts they need a temperature of about five degrees centigrade or lower for about 40 days and considering the soils probably have just over, just above freezing because we've had frosts for the last week and they'll be continuing that's plenty of time up here up north for me to get the allotted sort of 40 days worth of cold weather. So once I've separated the biggest cloves out, I just tend to sow them about the same distance apart that I sow my onions. Plant my onion sets, which is roughly six inches apart in the row. You can plant them further apart. There's not much point with garlic, but about six inches apart in the row and a foot between the rows, just down a string line. And my rule of thumb is, obviously you plant the bottom end, the blunt end, the pointy end's where the long leaves are gonna grow out, the blunt end's where the roots are gonna grow out. And like I said, my rule of thumb is to push that in, hold it there, push it in, up to your knuckle of your finger. So the tip of the garlic clove is about an inch below the surface of the soil. And that'll give the bulb enough depth to sort of mature. So I'll just push it in like that, up to my middle knuckle, six inches apart again, inch below the surface. Couldn't be simpler really. And all I've done, I've just sort of worked my soil over, added about four ounces of general fertiliser. I've used some uh, Phytax this year. I usually use um, blood fish and bone, but anything like that will do. And they just tend to look after themselves really, they don't seem to have many pests. You might be unlucky and get a bit of rust later in the season, but that's something you can't really do much about. So it's as simple as this, it's one of the easiest crops to grow. People get these think thought that oh, there must be a Mediterranean plant, they need heat. Well, it couldn't be further from the truth because it's certainly not hot up here and I get a cracking crop. So again, just six inches apart, tip an inch below the surface straight along the row, so I'll get 20 in a row, three rows, 60 bulbs of garlic. And these are called Solent White, the variety. And these will keep for me until these are just about harvesting. These are last year's and these will still be fit to eat in about July, August time. And then come at harvest time, just wait for them to die back, wait for the leaves to yellow and wither, and then pull them up, let them dry out and store them somewhere sort of cool and, well no sorry, actually warms better for garlic and stops them sprouting. And that's it, dead easy crop, everyone should try growing them, because they are so easy to grow. Anyway that's about it folks, I'll just do the rest of the rows, I won't boil it to tears, but that's how simple it is to grow garlic. And that's it, get a crop like that just by shoving some cloves in the ground. This time of year or a little earlier, it'd be somewhere down south and it's a bit warmer. So that's about it folks, end of February, first bit of planting out in the garden done, see you later.